Softball practice got underway today across the viewing area. Earlier at 6 o'clock, we previewed the state runner-up Cal Island Wildcats. Well, tonight we look at the team they beat in the region final, the Flower Bluff Hornets. The Hornets must replace eight seniors from their district championship squad. Coach Angela Scott knows they'll have some growing pains here and there, but she still expects her young Hornets to make a run at the postseason. You know, um, graduating eight seniors uh, is going to take a lot out of us, but we have some uh, underclassmen that are going to step in and do some big things for us. And so, you know, I uh, hope that we will be in those top four. I don't see why we shouldn't be. We have a lot of talented players and a lot of people that are stepping up and working hard. And uh, everyone's just going to work their tails off this season and just wants the same thing as last year to win district champs. So the high school softball season gets started on February 17th. Flower Bluff again winning the district championship last year. Cal Allen finished second, and yet Cal Allen got him back in the region final and ended yeah. up going to state. Aren't too many places you can play softball in the uh, dead of winter? Yeah, well, exactly. That's, that's hey, you know, it's what it was a balmy, what, 60-something degrees outside <laughs> today, so it was great. Great for softball.